any pressure to uh, take your top off? <laughs> During the scything, <laughs> scything sequence, was that not appropriate? Oh, well, listen, I mean, I, I, I started the sequence without any trousers, and I thought maybe that, that would be a good idea and kind of... No, I mean, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I was I raising my eyebrows there. I wasn't really, um, no, concerned about any of that, really. No, I was only kidding. Yeah. Can, can I just clarify, though, does your top come off in this <laughs> no, series? I show a little bit of ankle. Okay. Yeah, he's a little bit more kind of discreet. Modest. I yeah. Think, yeah, modest. Yeah, and it, there's a lot going on in Francis's head, isn't there? You know, for people who haven't watched the, the, watched the series so far, uh, he's something of a tortured soul. Yeah, very much so. It's really what attracted me to the part, really. I, um, he is his own worst enemy, in effect, and um, feels that he can't live up to people's expectations. And uh, whether it's his father's or to Ross, who's suddenly come back as a kind of um, uh, an, an amazing problem in a way in his life, and um, and that journey of uh, of the descent into his self-loathing and his eventual rebirth was really what kind of made it a joy to play. Are you surprised at just how popular Poldark has become? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could, how could, you, could, you couldn't predict something like this. What do you think is, has attracted so many people to it? I'm not quite sure. I think there's a lot of that going on, I think, at the moment. I was curious, Carl, because when you sat down and first said hello, people have seen you in Poldark and don't know you otherwise. Well, no, your accent in Poldark is very good. Thanks. But you are <laughs> obviously American. Yeah. Was it? I mean, how, how was it for you? Because you know, you're not actually doing. Are you, you're not doing a Cornish accent as such. No, otherwise it? I would never have gotten the job to begin with. I think. <laughs> I mean, that's that's such a particular accent. It's a beautiful accent, but I um, couldn't even begin to try and and, and have a go at it. Um, yeah. So now the cat's really out of the bag, I suppose. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Was, we were we were told earlier about e even saying the surname, your surname. Uh -huh. It, you're supposed to say it with the emphasis on the, the second syllable, aren't you? It's supposed to be Pold Pold dark, dark. Isn't yeah. it? as opposed to Pold Dark. Right? Yeah. Um, there were a lot of conversations with some actual Cornish historians, and, and they were quite adamant that it should be Pold Dark. Mm -hmm. And um, so we really went for it. I'm not sure if they did that in the first incarnation of, of Pold Dark back in the 70s, but even now I can't. When I read the word, I always say Poldark instead of Poldark. Oh. I'm not sure why. I think maybe it's just a modern kind of... Well, it's got a subtle difference, isn't it, though? Yeah. Daily important locally. It makes all the difference yeah. to the Cornish people. Absolutely. I, think, I mean, yeah. beautiful setting, beautifully shot. I mean, that's a pleasure to work in, isn't it? Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a paradise, really. And I can't believe that it's on mainland UK. I mean... Really? No, well, I mean, we, when we filmed the first series in the summer, you could look at the ocean and the vista and be convinced that you're in the Mediterranean. I mean, with crystal clear waters and turquoise. I mean, I do work for the Cornish Tourist Board. I was board. about to say, um, the Cornish Tourist Board is going to be very, yeah. very pleased. But it's, it is a really special it's place. The same place. Can I just ask, as we're looking at the picture of the horses there, how is your horse riding? Um, yeah, it's all right. Is it? Yeah. yeah you are right. You have ridden a horse before. No, before. never before. Oh, you had before the series, you hadn't brought... No, but I, uh, I, 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 did the typical actor thing of like, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm good, I'm really good. Um, Were but you? I was okay, I think. When I went for the training and stuff, the guy who um, was doing it up in Yorkshire uh, felt quite confident with what I was doing and just had me start doing all these like tricks and stuff, picking stuff up off the ground and like kind of like jousting and Are everything. You yeah, well, I thought he did that with everyone, and then I said that to the rest of the cast. Did he think it was a medieval cast, thing, if he was doing jousting? Well, no, it's just I think he wanted to see what I could get away with. And, um, well, you clearly mastered it. Yeah, very, very proficient. That. I think it was all right. Uh, yeah. Lovely to see you this morning. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you so Carl. much. Thank you. Yeah. Paul Dark continues on BBC One. Yeah, see? see what I did there? <laughs> Paul Dark continues on BBC One at 9pm on Sunday.